Hi guys, I'm going to show you one of my latest uh, projects. <clears throat> this is the Alien Frame 500. Actually, it's, uh, it's a clone of the TBS Discovery. As you can see, it is the same form factor and uh, essentially it looks the same. Uh, but this is a cheap copy uh, from eBay. I bought, bought it for like $18. So it, uh, it was really cheap, but I love this frame. I have built one similar to this before. And uh, I love the simplicity, the uh, how it looks and uh, how good it really works. This is like uh, the best frame I have used uh, so far. It's uh, uncomplicated, it works, it's uh, super steady in the air. And uh, you have a good balance between uh, how it works and how uh, how much it weighs and how long flight flight times you get. Um, I have the Multistar, the Tunisian Multistar 2213 935 kV. I have the Grafner Eprops 9 times 5 uh, very good uh, glass fiber enforced uh, uh, plastic propellers. Uh, actually, I think this is these are the best propellers out there in this class at least. And I have the DJ NASA M Light here. Uh, I've upgraded it to the V2 firmware, so it's uh, actually it's a V2 now, and has all the features that the V2 have. It's uh, much better in the air, much better in stabilizing, and it has the auto takeoff and uh, and things like that. That that works very very well. Um, and uh, in here I have um, uh, the Boscam uh, 5.8 GHz uh, tra video transmitter with the Armway antenna, which I use on all my uh, quadcopters with the 5.8. I have the uh, OSD, uh, I think it's, uh, uh, actually I don't remember the name now, but this is the uh, unoriginal OSD that you can find on eBay. For the DJ NASA, um, costs a little bit, but it's much better than the iOS D that, that you get from uh, that you get from DJI. Um, yeah, I have the um, uh, CureTech uh, A channel receiver here. Uh, it's no Espas. I thought it was when I ordered it, but it wasn't. So, uh, but that's no problem. I uh, just use regular cables, six channels to the NASA. And two channels, uh, one for the um, tilt of the gimbal, and uh, one for the uh, shifting of the screens of the OSD. Yeah, uh, the um, the uh, ESCs are just uh, Simon K uh, cheap ones from eBay um, that I bought. Uh, I think I paid uh, like twenty five thirty dollars for all four of them. And they work flawlessly. It's Simon K firmware, uh, no issues uh, so far. Yeah. Um, the uh, the gimbal is, uh, as you can see, it's a tarot gimbal. Actually, it was uh, an ordinary gimbal before, but I had made a few uh, adjustments here, uh, modifications here. Uh, I cut the the arm that it usually hangs from uh, off here, and I. Um, took a piece of acrylic glass here, uh, drilled it so it fits uh, snugly in here and I just drilled two small holes in the chamber for the uh, gimbal motor here and just screwed it in with the Loctite and everything. Very nice, works very well. I have the old trusty GoPro Hero 3 black, very nice pictures uh, still, but uh, I'm, I have seen a few videos of the GoPro 5 and uh, uh, I think that will be a nice upgrade when the time comes. The uh, board for the gimbal is not the original uh, Tarot uh, board, it's um, Alexmos uh, out of eBay 2. Works very well, no problem at all. Actually it's a 3 axis gimbal uh, control board, but I only used the 2 axis uh, on this one. Yeah. Um, like I said, very nice, very uncomplicated, uh, very good frame. I used the Multistar uh, batteries, um, 10C4S, 5.2 amps. It uh, fits very well in here, it's like uh, it was made for it. And um, 
I got the flight time around uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So as you can see, fits nice in here. Also, I've uh, made a, a, I bought this one to to mount the XT60 connector uh, yeah, here. So I only have to use one hand to take it on and off. So that's very nice. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I use this uh, small cable from the transmitter here up to this uh, this antenna mounting. So that was very good. So I can move it around under here so I can reach the buttons with my finger to change the channels if I need to do that. And uh, all in all, a very, very good uh, frame. I will get back to you on this one and show you a little bit more features. What I'm going to do in the future with it is to uh, uh, test out new propellers, length and everything to see the, if it, uh, how much it affects the uh, flight time. Also going to change this one out to an SPS um, receiver. And uh, I also think I'm going to uh, attach some LED strips here so it's easily to see on the, in the distance what's uh, the front and back uh, of it. Yeah, uh, in another video I'm going to show you the OSD, how, how it works. It's very nice, it's very configurable and uh, uh, that's something to consider. It costs a little bit more than the original uh, OSD for the DJ NASA, I think. And, um, but actually it's much, much uh, better. Yeah, thanks for watching.